What's up, you two? Welcome back to the Chance of Bishop Show for episode 18 of our MLB The Show 24 Road the Show featuring uh, none other than Chance of Bishop. Yeah, we are in the final home stretch here of Chance's first stint in the major leagues. It wasn't really his first full season because, you know, he came up post All Star break and it just wasn't, uh, wasn't very, uh, wasn't a full. Uh, showing of what Chance could possibly do out there on the field. Uh, you know, so it's just like a stint up here. It's not, not the full, you know, you test drove the young fella. You didn't actually take him off the lot. All right, but here we go. You know, Bishop, he's getting things done here. You know, the Mets, they are not in a position to uh, make the postseason. Uh, they're, you know, honestly going to have a 90 loss season. They are sub 500, which is atrocious. Uh, you hate to see that. You really do. Especially when you have a franchise which is historically known for uh, one of the worst losing seasons in MLB history. Actually, uh, they are known for the worst losing season in MLB history. Yeah, the most losses in one season, like 120. Uh, yeah, I think the 2024 White Sox will put up a good run for the money. But as of right now, the Mets are still the worst uh, team all time when it comes to losses. So, uh, yeah, let's go Mets, man. <laughs> let's go Mets. Uh, but here we go, though, that's, you know, Chance is doing everything he can out there. He is only one man. He is a young rookie up here in the majors that honestly is, well, he is in his, not even his prime yet. His prime, I wouldn't say it's not a two, three seasons. He's, what, 22 right now? 22, 21, 22 right now, uh, Chance. But, you know, I wouldn't say he's in his prime, probably to his age, like, 25 season. You know, right around his arbitration years, maybe just after his arbitration years, those first couple years of his first main deal. Uh, but there you go, Bishop. A big RBI single there. It does cut the Mets deficit down to one. With well, two outs in the inning, hopefully the Mets can kind of rally behind that one. Uh, and they, they don't. They don't rally behind it. Uh, Tiedemann gets the win. Uh, Miguel the loss. And Roberto Asuna, apparently he's in the league now, uh, gets uh, the save. All right, here you go. We got Jake Berger leading things off here with one out in the inning. Uh, now, I'm sorry, Miami's already up 2-0, uh, and Jake Berger is now up. Gotcha. One out. Mets down 2 nothing. Jake Berger's up. Gotcha. Now I have the full picture of what's going on. I don't like the intros for the show 24. I, I really don't. You know, every MLB The Show game has had the same intros when you start a game. You get the pitcher in, you have like your, your your flyover, your camera, your overhead shot there of like the stadium, uh, the field. Then you had maybe some on-field stuff, maybe like a cutaway to like a player doing really well. Uh, maybe like a top prospect got called up, so you know they do a little cutaway for him. But I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't really see what they're doing here with the show 24, unless there's a setting that I've turned off that I don't realize it that allows me to have where it's like the coach saying go to, go to, go to, which is annoying, but it seems like a lot of people have that setting on, so I'm not too, like, worried about turning it off, uh, but I don't, I don't know, but then it's like, why don't I get the full introduction? It's not like I'm on hybrid mode or I'm on fast play I am on you know broadcast so I should be getting the full introductions for pitchers and it's like god forbid we actually make it to the postseason which I with this Mets team I I'm not surprised if we never make the postseason I really wouldn't be surprised if this team never made the postseason like like just genuinely wouldn't be surprised uh because the the, the minor league Mets the double a uh Birmingham Express I think that's what their double a team was called and, and then the Syracuse Mets, and now the Major League Mets, they all stink. All of them are trash. Uh, you know, they're all awful at what they do. Probably because, you know, it's the Mets. You know, I get it. I'm playing for the Mets, but I'm going to bad talk the Mets the entire time. I am a Phillies fan. You know, born and raised Phillies fan. Always been a Phillies fan. Not a, not a Mets guy. Honestly, we're probably getting out of here as soon as we can. Uh, just because that's what... Uh, you know, what's going on here? Uh, but Bishop drives that one deep to right field. That's a two-home run game for Chance. He's got, what, just under 30 now? He's got 28 on the season. I want to say 28 home runs. It's out of here. Come on, how many home runs is that? That was 28 home runs. So he's got three home runs in the last two games. He's got two this game. 
Uh, the Mets have lost the first game. They are in position to lose this game right here. Uh, Lindor is apparently on the bench again because they just don't play him for... I don't know. Dude's the highest paid shortstop in league history. They don't play him against, you know, righties, which is just absurd. Uh, but there you go, Chance. You know, he's not going down without a fight here. He's got himself yet again another hit. Uh, top of the ninth. You can cut the lead down a couple runs here, but no. Uh, that's just a ground out to the second baseman. And the Marlins are going to win back-to-back -back games. Yeah, Marlins lead the series 3-0. Dakota Isanga, what happened to you, dude? You, I mean, sure, you're not. You were at 1.5 and 10, so you're 10 and 16 now. So you went 5 and 6 in your last at least 11 decisions, which is disgusting. But now, like, what is going on? What happened to Kodai Senga? Wasn't he like good? Uh, but all right, whatever. Chance though, you know, gets the Mets. Uh, there you go. Advances their lead. The two runs right there in the bottom of the first inning. You know, Sandy Alcantara. He's on the mound here. Mets up 3-0. I feel like Alcantara, out of all the pitchers, is probably the best one to probably hit against just because uh, he is a veteran. He's been here uh, the longest. He's probably regressed a little bit, too. All right, bottom five now. Ground ball. It's knocked down by the third base. I'm going Berger over to second in time for the final out here. And the end of that is Jake Berger. Dude hit that whopper. Now, right next to that bat here, bottom of the eighth. I don't think Chance is... I think he's hitless this game. I think we actually went hitless against the Marlins uh, in game three of the series, which is brutal. Uh, we do win this one, actually, so that's a good little condolence prize there. Pedersen the win, a contra loss, and MacArthur is, got the save there. Marlins win the series 2-1. to one. The Mets finished the regular season 71-91 and 91 for a 438 winning percentage. That's gross. That's brutal. I actually hate that. Why is this Mets team cursed? Why am I going to be running away on this Mets team? Uh, the Dodgers beat the Blue Jays in the 2026 World Series, so we are three seasons in the future, uh, 2026. So, yeah, not a not a surprise here. The Dodgers are winning. Yeah, I think they have Shohei. They got Mookie. Uh, Shohei wins MVP. You know, beats out back-to-back -back Marcelo Zuna MVPs right there, which is disgusting. Uh, MVP also could have gone to Tyler Glass now or Mookie Betts, which is even grosser. Glass now does get Sa Hung with 229 punch-outs, a 22-4 and record. Bobby Miller went 21-5. and What is this team? Bad title, though, did go to uh, Juan Soto. They'd really like to see that. Felix Bautista, reliever of the year. That one's a toss-up every season. Chance Bishop, there you go. He gets himself Rookie of the Year. Pa has got 2024. Lentz in 2025. Bishop in 2026. So I do like to see that Chance did get an award there, especially the Rookie of the Year award. Uh, Patrick Bailey is now the catcher in Philadelphia. Taglia. Uh, Strata is still there in uh, was that San Francisco. Let's see. Any, any, any surprising ones, honestly? James Wood in left field. Joe Rowe in center. Uh... Those all make sense. Otani, Silver Slugger for DH. Contreras, he's on a rampage right now. Michael Bush, okay, beats out Walker and uh, and Harper. Bucky Lentz beats out Albies. All right, surprised by that one. Austin Riley's back-to-back -back winner. Uh, Betts there, Juan Soto for left field. Ozuna for center. Apparently, Ozuna's playing the outfield with the Diamondbacks right now, which is wild. Uh, Med Rosario gets postseason MVP. Betts gets World Series MVP. Dude hit 526, which is disgusting. So it's been Yankees, Dodgers, Dodgers the last three seasons for the World Series. What a, what a gross run of uh, World Series winners right now. Like, come on. Like, can we have, like, the Twins or someone win it? Maybe Cleveland. I think Cleveland would be a nice one. Maybe the Athletics. Maybe, you know, throw something weird out there. Maybe give them to the Athletics. I think they can... Uh, get things done here, uh, but Alejandro Kirk, Ryan Mountcastle with the gold glove, I don't think we're far enough, honestly, in the future, uh, where things start getting, like, players start getting on weird teams, I think we're still early enough in it, only at three seasons, where a lot of the guys that, unless you're traded, uh, guys with contracts or team controllability, uh, will still be there, like Santander is still there, uh, Jeffers is still there with, uh, the Twins, Cassis is still there, uh, but then again, you do have a, a small mix of computer gem players already popping up. 
which is annoying that, you know, we're three seasons in and then computer gem players are popping up. Uh, Jordan Alvarez playing in it with Silver Slugger for uh, the DH, which is wild. Uh, apparently also, uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. also got nine home runs uh, in the postseason before getting eliminated to win uh, NLCS MVP. Uh, Stanton retires there, which is unfortunate. Uh, we didn't see anyone else. Uh, Martin Perez retires. That's a shame there. Sonny Gray retired. Chris Taylor with the Dodgers. Valmont retired. Uh, it's all of the major leaguers. Uh, got Amora Jr. retiring. Tyler Anderson. Austin Barnes. Jacob Barnes. Let's see. Willie Calhoun hangs up the spikes. Mark Canna hangs it up. Uh, Jake Cave, the legend. Jesse Chavez. Uh, let's see. It's the wrong Edwin Diaz retiring. Kyle Farmer retires. We have any any crazy ones? Kyle Gibson uh, retires as a free agent right there. He has Monty Grandal retires a couple years in the future. Brad Hand retires. Uh, Jason Hayward retires as a free agent. Kyle Higgins, uh, Higgins, Higgins, his, 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 I don't know, Higgy with the uh, the Yankees. That guy, Kyle Higashoka, Higo Higashoka. Yeah, he retired. Timo Castro retires. Uh, let's see, J.D. Martinez retires. Let's see, anyone else? Any big names here? Uh, Whit Merrifield, Phillies legend. Mike Michaelis retires. All right, I think that's going to be probably the end of uh, Chris Owens. He's an okay name. Kevin Pillar got released from uh, the White Sox way too early and then had a tear with the Angels for a little bit. So good old, uh, good old White Sox legend there, Kevin Pillar. Uh, Miguel Rojas, who apparently hated Jazz Chisholm. Uh, Cal Stevenson, Philly legend Cal Stevenson retires. Justin Turner retires as well. I mean, as soon as you think you're done with, you know, the list, you find a couple guys at the bottom. Gio Rochella also retires right there, uh, as well as Jose Urena uh, retiring as well, which is unfortunate for a couple of those guys there. Uh, they were fan favorites when they were in the league. No one makes the Hall of Fame, so that means Stanton hit 500. Uh, did he not hit 500 home? He might not hit 500 home runs. That might be why he's not in the Hall of Fame. That might be the only reason he's on the Hall of Fame, which is wild to think uh, that John Carlos Stan did not make the Hall of Fame. Uh, but Chance, at 21 years of age, going to be signing a contract extension there. Uh, Mets have agreed to the one-year $800,000 extension, so we'll be playing with the Mets next year for eight hundred grand. So definitely.